6.15 now. So a La Jolla teenager is following in his brother's footsteps by giving kids with developmental disabilities the opportunity to play team sports. This is really cool. ABC 10 News anchor Vanessa Paz is here to talk about the impacts that this has had on the community and really just how special this program has become for everyone involved, Vanessa. Oh man, special. Yes, uh, such a light way to put it. This was uh, near and dear to my heart covering this story. So San Diego Chill, it's, it's a nonprofit athletic program that started as a bar mitzvah project back in 2013. And the boy who actually started it, he's now in college but it's his little brother who's now a high school student and has recently taken it over in a big way. We're going to be doing some activities here on the ground. One by one. Always work as a team. These athletes line up to get ready for their morning sporting event at UCSD's challenge course. Say challenge by choice. They start with a little icebreaker. Padres, Dodger, you name it, I'm on the team. Before taking on courses around the field that involve brain games, balancing acts, and eventually. What are you most excited for? The zip line. The ropes course. The agility exercises are unique, but one thing remains the same, having fun. It's always great to see a smile on their faces and, you know, if if they're getting lots of high fives and, and happy, then you know, we, we achieved our goal. This athletic program is called San Diego Chill, run by Bishop High sophomore Ezra Granite. It started in 2013 by Granite's older brother, who was 13 at the time and a diehard hockey player. He would always see a kid on the side that couldn't play because uh, as a kid with developmental disabilities, he was not given the same chance. That's when his brother created San Diego Chill as his bar mitzvah project. It's a nonprofit athletic program ran by volunteers that gave kids and teens with developmental disabilities like autism or Down syndrome the opportunity to play team ice hockey. I always wanted to go out there and help, but I didn't really know how to skate. So I just kind of watched from the side and it was it was really amazing to watch. So when Ezra's run for his bar mitzvah project was up, there was that same need in the community as there was for ice hockey, but for more sports than just ice hockey. Taking over and expanding San Diego chill to basketball, bowling, soccer, and of course, a ropes course. It's fun, very fun. It's hard for our kids to be included in the community, and this sort of brings them into their own community, not, you know, the community that they're always trying to get into. Like my brother, when he saw the kid that didn't get the same chance he did when I see a kid that didn't get the, ch the same chance to to play soccer for example which is the sport that I love and you know without that I'm, I'm a totally different person so what happens to the kid that never got a chance to have that sport in his life I'm excited because this I am in the San Diego chill the San Diego Chill program is free, but they do accept donations and they're always welcoming new members. For more information on how you can sign up or even volunteer, just head to our website and click on this story in our Positively San Diego section. Oh, this was a story near and dear to yeah. my heart. And uh, again, I was telling Megan, it's one thing to actually see it, you know, on air, but it's a different experience to be there and to just fully be immersed in, in the connections that they have and what they're, how much love that they have, you know, to give. And uh, I think it's really underestimated and it was really special and to cover it. to Ezra and yeah, his brother. Exactly. So and, young, but, but, uh, but really able to kind of envision this and, and do something so wonderful. Right, and it's volunteer driven. When you think about volunteer driven, they're taking uh, their time out of their weekend, their weekend mornings. I mean, these are high school students, so it's so special, uh, you know, how much they care about this, so. It um, is really special. It is. I was just thinking like, but we were just talking about what, <laughs> what did we do when we were kids? I know, and it makes you, but again, there's hope. There's yes. hope in you, Maddie. Yes, right? yes, yes. 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 One there, at a time. There are definitely kids out there doing amazing things. And yeah. Jared pointed out there were kids doing amazing things when we were younger too. <laughs> we me. just weren't yeah. them. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm so glad that you brought us that story and yeah, uh, yeah hopefully more people get involved.